Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Ashley and today I am so excited because I'm doing my very first collab video. So I have been so fortunate in the short amount of time that I've been on YouTube. I have made some just really great YouTube friends and one of them is Miss Kaylee Wesley. I'll put her picture in right here. So she is wonderful. If you have not checked out her channel, I definitely recommend that you do so. I'll make sure to link it up in the cards for you. But she had said, hey, let's get together and do a collab. And I thought, yes, that sounds like a ton of fun. So we were kind of bouncing ideas back off of one another. And the one that we settled on was doing a full phase of makeup using just an eyeshadow palette. So we're actually going to be using the Jaclyn Hill Morphe Collaboration Palette to put together a whole face of makeup, which should be a ton of fun. This is what it looks like for those of you that maybe haven't seen it. It is a really great palette and one that I definitely recommend. It is one of my top 10 favorite eyeshadow palettes across my whole collection. So there are a couple of caveats here when it comes to what we're considering full face. So for instance, foundation, you're not gonna get that out of this. So things like foundation and concealer, mascara obviously are not going to be part of this full face, but basically everything else is eyeshadow, duh. Face, um, bronzer, highlight, blush, the whole nine, everything else is coming to you directly from this palette right here. So let me go ahead and zoom you guys on in nice and close, get my hair pulled back, and we'll go ahead and we'll get started. Okay, so I've zoomed you guys in a little bit closer. I haven't come in like super duper tight because I'll be honest, I have been trying out some new skincare and I've got very, very sensitive skin and it reacted not so favorably to something last night. And when I woke up, it was all just swollen and splotchy and itchy and the swelling has gone down some, but it's still not 100% awesome. So I've uh, primed my eyelids using my MAC Paint Pot in Painterly. And then let's go ahead and let's dive in. So I'm thinking that I wanna do something green. I'm just in that mood today. So what I'm actually gonna do is start with this shade right here and I'm just gonna buff that all through my crease, get that foundation going. So I have to say I am really excited to be doing this. I think this is such a fun idea to kind of really stretch yourself and do something that's a little bit more kind of creative, a little bit more out of the box. I'm sure other people have done this. Um, in fact, I would be interested to know if anybody does this kind of on the regular, you know, um, just using an eyeshadow palette for kind of everything on their face. I feel like if you travel a lot, like, um, well, I will say there are, of course, a ton of travel palettes out there, and I'm sure that a lot of people use that as their sole palette. Not everybody is a crazy person like I am and own an absurd amount of makeup. Uh, but I would be really interested to know if anyone regularly uses an actual eyeshadow palette, not a like full face palette, and uses it on their full face. I would just, I don't know why, that would be really, really interesting to me. I'm always fascinated by how people use makeup and what they use. I think that's why I got into YouTube to start with. Okay, so I've buffed that all lightly through the crease. And then I'm going to, I think, deepen it up just a little bit with this shade right here. I didn't get the original launch of the Morphe palette, so I don't have all the shade names. So I apologize for those of you that are kind of yelling at your monitor. Oh my God, Ashley, it's... I have no idea, so I apologize. I am not in the know. So we're just trying to deepen up that crease just a little bit. And I'm kind of interested to see how all of this turns out. I'm a little, a little apprehensive about the uh, blush and bronzer part. While there are quite a few browns in this palette, I worry that they might be a little too orange leaning for my skin tone. And then I don't know about the blushes. So this will be interesting. Okay, so now that I've put in some of that crease shade, I'm gonna go all the way on the lid with this guy right here. Get ourselves a nice beautiful green eye.
But yeah, if you have not checked out Kaylee's channel, I totally recommend it. She has a really fun series on there, which I've honestly been contemplating um, kind of adopting here on my channel because it's just so much fun. She will take an eyeshadow palette and she will use one, um, she'll feature one shadow and do that many, I, wait, that sounded really weird. Back up. Okay, so she'll take, say for instance, like a nine pan palette and then she'll film a look centering on each of those shadows. So she does um, one look per pan. And it's a really fun and neat video. And I think it really would help to stretch anyone that's kind of in a creative rut to focus on one palette and say you're going to create a look around each shade in there. Because, you know, if you're anything like me, there are a ton of eyeshadow palettes in your collection. And you gravitate towards the same shades out of there each time. And not every shade really gets the same amount of attention. And sometimes there are shades that you just don't even know what to do with. And so I think a, a challenge like that, I think could be really interesting and very eye-opening to kind of, kind of like with Palette Bingo, you know, you end up using shades that you wouldn't have ordinarily used or combinations that you wouldn't have art ordinarily used and you really get some cool results so I'm actually really considering that if that's something that you would be interested in seeing let me know I have been toying with the idea for a little while so Kaylee you have inspired me okay so we're gonna leave it like this right now it's not as well blended through the creases I would like but we're gonna fix that but beforehand we're gonna take this green shade and I'm gonna use that all along the outer edge because we're gonna go very green today I think but I'm going to start out light because I don't want it to get too carried away. So when I'm filming this, today is Mother's Day. And I don't know if we're going to be going out and doing anything. We decided to do dinner last night um, just because on Mother's Day, it every place is so crowded. And the baby, he is getting to a stage while... He's an amazing, wow, I got a little, a little carried away there. Uh, well, he's an amazing kid, and he does really, really well. He's getting to a point where he's not um, doing quite so well in restaurants because he, A, wants to be down and running around constantly, um, which, yeah, he's a toddler. That's what they do. Uh, but he's also trying to assert his opinion on things which means that he's just saying no to everything, even things that he wants and likes, just because he wants to be able to have a say in things, or at least that's my assumption. Okay, I'm going to take just that clean, well, clean-ish blending brush that we used in the crease, and I'm just going to use that to kind of try to buff everything together and um, alleviate those kind of rough lines. And I'll probably go back in at least a little bit into that first shade and... Uh, use that as kind of a helper but yeah so even things that he really likes he's saying no to and just getting frustrated and I think it's because he's doing better with language but he uh, doesn't have enough of it to really convey what he wants and so I think he just gets really frustrated which I can't say I blame him so we did go out last night. We went to Cowfish because um, sushi and hamburgers, yes please. If you live in a city that has a cowfish, um, let me know because it's amazing. And if you've never been there, I need you to check it out because it's really, really good. Um, it's kind of a smaller chain, so they're not everywhere. Um, but they are growing. Like for instance, um, this past week I was in Birmingham, Alabama. And they had one there and... I know they have one in, I want to say Atlanta. So it is definitely getting more popular. Okay, so I think that is all we're going to do on the top part of my eyes. I'm going to clean up underneath my eyes with a makeup wipe. And then I'm going to put on my foundation and concealer. And then we'll come back and we'll work on the lower lash line and the rest of my face. All right, I am back. So I have gone very lightly with my face makeup just because... My skin's still not super duper happy. Sorry, my tank top keeps like sticking out. Um, 
Yeah, so I've gone in very lightly with my face makeup because my skin is still not super duper happy. And it, if you can see it picking up on camera, it's still quite textured from that reaction. So I know it's not perfect. And I'll be honest, I've been staring at this palette for a while because I don't know what to do um, about bronzer. Bronzer is where I think I'm really stalled. Um, God, it's just so dark. I'm contemplating this shade right here. It's darker than what I would ever go in with a bronzer, but I'm just afraid everything else is going to pull really orange. So, well, maybe I'll actually, let's see, maybe I'll try this one really lightly and see how that goes. So, Wish me luck, friends. Wish me luck. All right, so I'm going to, yeah, let's give it a go and see what happens. Um, okay. Okay, it's um, not perfect, but it's also not nearly as bad as I had feared. But here's the thing, when it comes to blending, it's not blending out amazingly. And it's just, it's a very different formula than a traditional bronzer would be. And so it's just not okay. Still going lightly. Okay, okay, I can deal with this. Okay, so it doesn't look bad. It doesn't look bad, but I am going to really tempt fate and use that deeper, wrong way, that deeper chocolatey brown just really high up because it's not giving as much definition, I guess. So I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna hope for the best here. Okay. Okay, that's, yeah, that's giving a little bit more of the uh, definition to the hollows in my cheeks that I was looking for. Yep. I feel like I should zoom you guys out. Let me do that. Hold up. Okay, zoomed out just slightly because I felt like I was just really crammed in the frame there. But I think this is looking a little bit better now that I've got just slightly deeper parts. We may touch it up again. Okay, and for blush, blush I'm also a little nervous about. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this shade right here and try to fluff that onto the apples of my cheeks and see how that goes. So let's grab my blush brush. Yep. Whew. Yeah, that does not want to blend quite out. <laughs> okay. Oof, I'm going in with just the slightest amount here, guys. Yep. 
yeah and that's the thing it just it doesn't want to blend out the way that an actual face product does I mean it's not that it looks bad it's just not as blended it really wants to just stick down which you kind of want for eyeshadow in some ways okay so there's that <laughs> um before we attempt highlight let's do the lower lash line so it's going to be a lot of repeat so I am going to take that first shade that we put through the crease the shade right here and I'm just going to apply that to the lower lash line using honestly just that same brush I'm telling you I cannot wait to see Kaylee's video we had a few other palettes in common when we were talking about this but I was afraid that if we didn't use something bigger like this that we would both end up with the same look and so it will crack me up if we both end up with the same look anyway. <laughs> And then I want to take on this little pointy brush from BH Cosmetics. Um, yeah, you know what, let's go for it. Let's do um, about halfway with that really deep matte forest green that we used on the outer corner. And let's really just smoke it out. I feel like we need something a little bit more dramatic to kind of take away from <laughs> the uh, the cheek business. Okay. And then again, using this fluffier brush, I am going to take a little bit of that second shade that we used, the one underneath it, this one right there, and just kind of continue to smoke out the lower lash line, make it a little bit less harsh. And I think that, I think I'm going to do a little bit of faux liner as well, just to kind of intensify my upper lash line. So I'm going to take just a flat pencil, or pencil brush, just like a flat liner brush. This one's from Alamar Cosmetics. And I'm going to take this deep chocolatey brown right here, and I'm just going to press it into the space on my eyelid right above where my uh, lashes are. I'm not looking for anything crazy precise. I just want to, when I put on my mascara, have that space build in. So it's not going to look tons different, but just enough, you know what I mean? There we go. Like I said, not a crazy difference, but it will make a difference when I put on my mascara um, because, again, you won't have that blank space. Okay, so let's see what we can do about highlighter. So I've swatched a few of... Oh, I lied. Backtrack. I think we need to bring a little bit of brightness to the eyes, so I'm going to take just a very small shade of brush, and I want something that is kind of a brighter kind of more golden shade to kind of go all along the um, inner corner and then along the lower lash line on the bottom. 
And I think, I think, I think, I think I want to use... Mm, there's not like a true gold in the sense of what I'm looking for. I'm afraid that would be too yellow. Yeah, I'm afraid that would be more yellow than what I'm going for, like kind of a burnt yellow. I'm looking for something that's a little bit brighter, but that will still go well with the green. I feel like that wouldn't show up enough. Well, I don't really like what these colors are doing for me as far as kind of what I'm envisioning, not versus, you know, the actual quality of the shadows. So, you know, we're just going to go for it. Um, we're going to go with that first more yellowy gold right there. And uh, we're going to we're gonna give it a go. More expressive inner corners have been trending lately, so... I'm going to bring it up onto my eyelid just slightly. I don't want to take away from that beautiful green, but I do want the two to blend together somewhat. And then I am going to drag it onto the lower lash line. to meet that green. Yeah, I kind of like the way that's going. Okay, I'm kind of good with that. I'm kind of good with that. All right, and then for my brow bone, I think I'm going to go in with, which one was the, I think I'm going to go in with this shade right here, just along the brow bone, kind of lighten that business up a little bit. Ooh, that's nice. And then I haven't fully decided on which of these two I want to use as a highlight. So I think I'm going to start with this shade right here. See how I like it and maybe I'll go to the other one. We'll see. Yeah, it's doing nicely. I think I will... Layer a little bit. Yeah, I'm layering the two together. And that gives me much more of the highlighted look that I was going for. So I'm going to quickly put on my mascara and then we'll come back and we'll address the lip situation. All right, so here we have the finished face and I have to say, I am not mad at it. I think it really has grown on me. Even the, the complexion part, I think it all came together really well. I'm very excited. Now I wanna kinda of gild the lily because we're gonna do lips and I'm still gonna use this palette. Now I do wanna say, full disclaimer, I have no idea whether or not these are lip safe products. So if you have any concerns, don't try this at home, but I thought that it would be kind of fun to see if I could use them kind of as a lip. So I am gonna take this shade right here on the end and I'm just gonna pat that all over my lip and <laughs> see what that looks like. Ooh, control is a problem. Ooh. <laughs> We're gonna need to clean that up a little bit. I think it looks cool, it's just 
Messy's all anything. Yeah, I'm not typically a fan of metallic lips, but this does have a little bit of a metallic quality to it. Let's see if I can clean up those lines somewhat. not mad at it at all so this is the full finished look I hope that you have enjoyed this video and I do want you to go ahead and go check out Kaylee's video as well because this has been just such a fun experience and if you found my channel through Kaylee welcome I am so excited that you are here if you've enjoyed this video I hope that you will give it a thumbs up and that you'll consider subscribing before you leave I hope that you're having an amazing day and I will see you next time bye